Stratz means a lot to me. Will you come and see how I play Desi? If you're in love with retro gaming, come and join the board. And if you want a Friday for some watching, and you could, no problem. How you doing everyone, Novabug here, back from Play Expo Margate 2020, and that was a good day, well I only had one day, it was, it was a three day event, lots of people had enjoyed all three days, the entire long weekend, lucky you, uh, I didn't, I, I got the whole Saturday in, which uh, was really good, I really, really enjoyed it, and it certainly had a, uh, had a more of a Blackpool feel about it, I want to say, uh, as opposed to some of the more, um, some of the other expos on the uh, replay events so, so thank you very much replay events again for uh, inviting me uh, to the event as your uh, press person so I guess um, but yeah it was fantastic me and lots of good friends again it's, it's always great to meet up with them uh, YouTuber friends people that I talk with uh, on groups and sites and stuff like that uh, and other people and new people uh, again always meeting new people and uh, people that I've spoken to on social media and via websites and vlogs and stuff and uh, you know I'll, I'll go through the few of the new people that I met this time uh, actually talk face to face uh, for the first time in many aspects uh, but the event itself was at Winter Gardens in Margate and uh, yeah it was not not bad actually the uh, it wasn't I wouldn't say the weather was perfect that day but it certainly wasn't absolutely hammering down all day there's a little bit of drizzle in the air it was a little bit chilly uh, but the event itself, really lovely and warm inside there. Uh, good atmosphere, very positive vibes all round, which was good. There was a bit of a, a worry going into the event that there might be a bit of an undercurrent of neg negativity uh, going into it uh, for other reasons, but we're not going to talk about those. Uh, but no, none of that. None of that at all. It was all very, very positive, and lots of, um, lots of positive things came out of it. I think so. Uh, so they had um, all the uh, set up with the... Traders again, lots of traders going on, no, lots of new traders there as well this time I noticed. And this time the talk stage was incorporated into the uh, the traders area, which was a nice little interaction because you get a lot of people uh, just browsing the trade area and browsing games and collectibles and stuff and just having a look in at uh, what's going on on the stage, on the talk stage, which is really nice. So it kind of a little bit more closed in, a little bit more, um, should I say, um, comfortable atmosphere, a certainly more intimate atmosphere. I think that would be the fair thing to say. And then you had the main hall with all the retro games, retro machines laid out, arcades. Not as many arcades I was as I would have hoped, but there was a plenty, a good selection, a decent selection there. Um, I was so busy uh, as well. I ended up ended up uh, sort of buzzing around, filming a lot of stuff, talking to a lot of people more than anything else. Um, so I didn't actually. I think I got to play Bomb Jack on the MSX, which was nice. I never played Bomb Jack on the MSX. I think that might have been the only game I actually played. Um, I was going to play on some of the arcades, but I never got around to it. But uh, fantastic. It was an absolutely fantastic event. And uh, well, I really wanted to give a, f a few shout-outs to a few people. Um, I met Neil, Neil Green, um, at last. Uh, Indie Retro News, the guy the guy head of uh, Indie Retro News. had a good chat with him. Uh, embarrassingly, I didn't recognise him at first, but then he introduced me. He said, ah, yes, Neil, how you doing, man? And we had a good chat there. I had a great chat with Chris Wilkins as well, Retro Fusion, and I think it's uh, Alan, uh, uh, his uh, partner that's with it. Not his partner like that, but it's, you, know, you know what I mean, business partner. He's associated with Retro Fusion, I know that. Um, where's me Retro Fusion? Not there, yeah. Uh, complimentary ZX uh, Spectrum Zetro, uh, Retro Fusion. Uh, so really good chat with him, a couple of times in fact. Um, I met John Reitman. Oh, yes, I'll flash a picture up of that. Uh, yes, obviously, right of match day one, two, Batman combat zone. Uh, yes, um, head over heels, of course. You know, fantastic game on the Amstrad. And I think he said the Amstrad version is one of his favourites. Uh, he did. Uh, so that, I was very happy to hear that. And a good chat with him. And uh, it was lovely to meet him um, in person. Again, it was Chris Wilkins that sort of like pointed it out. That's, that's John Whiteman there. Oh, really? Wow. 
Um, good chat with uh, Octavius as well. I had a lovely chat with Octavius. It's nice to have a, a, a good chat with her uh, to sort of like, uh, you know, get 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 to know each other a little bit better, which is really nice. She had a good chat as well. She did a very, very brave chat. Uh, so, ha you know, hats off, Atari hats off to Octavius there for getting up on stage and doing what she did. It was very good. It's very, uh, very, very forefront of her to do that. And, uh, yeah, I... You know, I'd, if I was in that position, it'd be pretty tricky for me to do something like that. I must admit. So, well done, that lady. Um, we had the YouTube's panel, which was a good laugh. The game is in real life thing. I entirely missed, unfortunately. Apparently, it was brilliant. Apparently, it was, uh, apparently, people really found that a laugh. Unfortunately, I was doing so much talking and, and taking pictures and stuff like that, uh, and and then just just buzzing around the place. I completely missed that, which is a shame. Um, but I did get to see. Uh, Quang's talk with uh, Trista Bites, which I've got a video of that coming up. I've got a video of that coming up. I've got a video of the YouTubers panel, and I've also got the Gaming Musos performance video. I've done that as well, and that was great as well. The acoustics could have been better on the on the Play Expo's part, I think. Uh, maybe the volume could have been pumped up a little bit. But apart from that, the performance was absolutely superb. And then, uh, so I, so yeah, so I, I basically stayed until the end, and then I went for a spot of dinner with uh, Top Hat Gaming Man and um, Lady Decade. Uh, and then I left my Loverbug hat. That's why I don't wear it at the moment. I've, it's in the post, I believe. I left my Loverbug hat um, in uh, their car, as you do. So uh, I think uh, Lady Decade and Top Hat are going to be posting that to me uh, shortly. But oh, I also, and one of the highlights of this, was meeting one of my Bug Army mages. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's Simon the Green, Major Green. And uh, just as I was leaving, uh, he, he presented me with uh, a very nice gift out of nowhere. And here it is. There you go. Um, a 6128. Here, this is fully working. A lovely, beautiful Amstrad 6128 to add to my uh, Amstrad collection. To put alongside Chewy and uh, Frankie and um, Minty. And we've got to name this. We've got to name it. Uh, and I will be naming this on a stream. I think we'll do a live stream. We'll do a testing stream, and I'm going to be testing Pinball Games on it. Uh, Pinball Games, Pinball Dreams on it. The physical version of that, because I've got a disc to test it on now. <laughs> Thank you, Simon, for this. I mean, that's it's an amazing gift. Thank you very much. Um, yep, yeah, I'm going to obviously do a teardown, even though it says it's perfectly working. I, I believe him. Of course, it is. I'm going to do a teardown, give her a, a, a bit of a clean up. Uh, as much as I can. Maybe restore some of these badges. Yes. Love it. Absolutely beautiful. So that aside, it was a really good event. It was a really, really good event. I, I would I would employ anybody that hasn't gone to one of these events, please try and make, make the time to go. Because um, you can get really involved in a certain thing. You might find something you've been looking for for a long time. There's plenty of, um, you know, different kind of traders and all the all the usual people were there. Uh, but, you know, obviously, yeah. Uh, the, the usual um, the prices can vary it depends on what you what you're looking for when it comes to price that's always a it's, it's always an issue when it comes up to these places but you know it's there that the point is it's there and it's available and you can see these things in tangible real life which is always a good thing but again it always comes back to the same thing it always comes back to the people it always comes back to the social aspect of it it always comes back to talking and getting to know people and, and having a laugh and having a drink and and I love all that I love all that stuff and it's it's where the uh, it's where the crux of uh, me doing this channel comes from, is getting to know people and talking to people and getting you know, opinions on games and shared experiences and all that kind of stuff. And if you love that kind of stuff, then Play Expo is the kind of place for you. You've really got to try and make uh, make an effort to go if you've not been. It's a no bug guarantee, that is. That's really all I've got to say. It was a fantastic event. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, if they do another one in, in, in Margate, I will probably go again. I'll certainly go to, obviously, like the Blackpool ones I always go to. And there's also the Manchester one coming up later on this year. Also, thank you very much again, Simon, uh, for the Amstrad uh, 6128. Uh, thank you very much. I can't thank you enough and for being a member of the Bug Army and all the Bug Army, of course. Always, always thank all of the Bug Army. And there's loads of more names I, I would love to mention. Um, but I'll, I'll probably forget someone, so I won't go on. But talking to, new, uh, talking to old friends, good friends, uh, sharing a drink with them, all that kind of stuff just love it it was a brilliant day really enjoyed it and um, I hope uh, you'll enjoy this little montage of clips and pictures that I've got for you coming up right now thanks for watching love bug out
Hey, Novabug here. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please support the channel by liking and commenting, and of course subscribing if you haven't already done. If you would like to support me further, please consider joining my bug army via Patreon. And also don't forget to follow me over at Facebook, Twitter, BitChute and Twitch. And finally a very special mention to my Bug Army Generals Sam M, Sweet Nanook and Craig Harrison. Thank you everyone for supporting me, Novabug, out.